long enough and you apply yourself and pay the price, you know, the, the fruits always come, the results always come. And so it was always one of my dreams to play football and to be great at it, not just to play, to sit on the bench, but to get in the game and to really play at a high level. And uh, that led me to some wonderful things playing in college and off to the NFL. It was awesome. You know, there's something you said that, in, in there that I want to come back to you later, so remind me, you talk about getting in the game instead of watching it from the bench, because I know that you use that analogy with your life speeches. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah. A, it's, a, great, it's a great analogy. Well, how, how hard is it to get into college and in the NFL? Because, I mean, not anyone can get in there, bro. No, to get into college, it, it's tough. You've got to be dedicated. I mean, you, you've got to be good. Obviously, you've got to have some gifts from God, but then you've got to work. And the biggest thing that separates people from high school to college is, is work ethic, how bad you want it and how much you want to work. I mean, you take someone like yourself, uh, you know, you, you work at this, and all of a sudden you're good, and people look at you and say, man, Sal is so natural at that. I'm like, you know, he's probably natural, but he's worked. He's putting his time, so. Oh, not really. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> you know, they, uh, out of every, I think it's 12,000 uh, high school students, yeah. um, less than eight will make it into the NFL. 8,000? Out of out of 12,000 yeah. high school football players, yeah. less than eight will make it to the NFL. About 8,000? Eight, eight. Eight. Less than eight. Wow. So small percentage. Way, way small. It's tiny. So, if so tell me, without being modest, say, Timma, what made you a little bit different? You talk about work ethic and, 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 and that sort of stuff. You're obviously a gifted athlete and stuff. What was it that made you different and cracked the NFL? Uh, one, it, it really was work ethic. Yeah. You have to work hard. And two, you got to be humble and teachable. You have to be able to say, I don't know it all. I and mean, then you, you get coaches and you get parents and you get great people surround you. And then, so um, did you know that at an early age? Because when you're young and you make it into the NFL, doesn't that just all consuming and the attention, the spotlight? Were you grounded at that stage? Uh, I don't know if I was fully grounded, <laughs> but uh, having a father who, who and a father and a mother. My father said, some of my mother, Alameda, they truly would push us and help us. Because they moved to the States so that their children could have something better than they did back in the islands. And then um, just the ability to keep the vision, vision and passion, the, the vision of how many people can I help, how much fun can I have, what do I really want to do with my life, and then believing in that vision and then having passion. You know, when things get hard, things get tough, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to go work out, you don't, you, you don't want to run. The passion's got to flow. The passion is why. Why do I want to do this? And that's applicable to everything. Everything. And not everything, just football, but everything. So, you know, in the NFL, there's a draft, and a lot of people probably don't, uh, are not aware totally of how the draft works. Were you in the, in, in the draft? Because you don't get to pick your team, right? You didn't get to choose the New England Patriots. You know, um, when you get drafted, you, you can't choose. Yeah. And I had a, a shoulder surgery coming out of college, so I didn't get, I got picked up by the Chargers. But uh, I, I actually had a chance to choose either the 49ers All right. or the Patriots. And uh, I committed verbally to the Patriots. And the Niners came aboard and tried to, they're like, look, you know, I know you gave your word. This is business. you got to come to the Niners. And something inside of me told me, you need to go to the Patriots. You committed. You gave your word. You need to go there. You need to be a man of integrity. So I went. Can, without going into maybe dollars and cents, ballpark figure, what are we talking about in terms of how much money you would have been receiving as, what was it, first year into NFL? Yeah, first year you're talking about um, roughly about $300,000. Just right out the gate without signing bonuses, 300. But by the time you win the Super Bowl, yeah. you're uh, with bonuses, you're about almost a half a million. So you were at that stage because you won a Super Bowl with the New England Patriots? Yes, yeah. You, you got the ring to prove it. Got and the that's big, a, fat ring. And that's a story in itself that I want you to share with me as well. So Super Bowl, we just had it here, man. Yeah. Are you happy about the result? I am very right? happy about Good? the result. Yeah, you got a couple of buddies in there? I got a, actually a few buddies that play with the Steelers that I played with at BYU. So oh, really? Yeah, hopefully they don't hear this interview. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be happy. So, you, you know, I, I don't want to focus all about the Super Bowl and stuff like that, but give us an insight as to what that experience is all, it was all about. Well, maybe if I speak in terms of, you know, imagine if your dream was to play for the All Blacks yeah. your whole life, and all of a sudden you're standing in the championship game of the World Cup, the final game, the biggest game of your life, and you're there. And that's what it was for me. I, I was filled with gratitude, and uh, I was so happy. I had tears in my eyes as I stood on the field thinking, this is what you work hard for your whole life. This is the vision. This is the dream. Most people never get this chance, and I'm here. It was awesome. Do the players get caught up in the, the hype that is the NFL? Because we here in New Zealand, right, 
we're part of this billion people audience. Yeah. Do you guys get in? Do you guys are, are you guys aware of that game day? Are you aware of the eyes watching you and? Uh, new players are, are, you know, they kind of get awestruck. Yeah. But most of the players were professionals, so all of a sudden it's a job, it's a business. There's passion there, but uh, at the end of the day, it's no different than kids playing on the street. The only difference is how many eyes are watching. And once you figure that out, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's great football. It's good times after the game. You high five the other team. Ask how the spouse is doing. Like give give our love to the wife and kids, and you know, back home. It's easy for you to say, <laughs> man, but seriously, I've never spoken to anyone who's played in the Super Bowl final. I mean, who's been a part of the Super Bowl final before, my man. So it's a privilege for me. We're gonna catch up with you. You're gonna, you're not gonna take off to see it, right? No, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm here. Why are you, why are you in New Zealand? And that's what I want to ask you next. What are you doing here in New Zealand? What are your goals and aspirations? And we'll catch up with September next, right after Mount Buckley and Twister. This is.